Uh oh, let's get some volume going. That would be great. That would be great. Hi, babes. How you loving? How you loving? Hey, love tubers. The lighting is not great, but hey, what can we do? What can we do today? I don't have my lights here yet. We moved into our new home. Hey, Danielle, how you loving? I'm coming to you from my new studio. I got a new studio in the house. So I'm coming to you from my new studio. It's not outfitted yet. Give me a minute. I'm gonna give you a tour of the house, a tour of the new studio. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. I tell you one thing. I have to do a shout out praise report right now. Hey, Cassandra, how you loving? Blue pill, how you loving? I have to do a shout out right now, a praise report for a God. Let me tell you something. Stop trying to live your life yourself. Stop trying to figure it out. Come on, Coach Michelle. How you loving? How you loving? How you loving? Stop trying to get shit. Stop trying. Stop striving. Stop going out to get something. Stop all of that. Uh, this is before we get into the subconscious hack. Hey, love tubers. I got a subconscious hack for you today. A hack, a hack, a hack. Yay, first time here. Oh, I am Rose. Everyone, love tubers, welcome. I am Rose. It's her first time here. Welcome, welcome, I am Rose. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. You are loved, you are so welcome here. Welcome to the channel. We have 11,000 new subscribers in less than a week. A week. Oh, you are an overview now. <laughs> hey, Danielle, beautiful. Of our online wellness shopping club. If you have texted me about our online wellness shopping club, the link is coming to you. Oh, thank you, Ember. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you. You are fully appreciated. You are so welcome here and you are so appreciated here. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. If you have not found out about our online wellness shopping club yet, go to ValerieLove.com. You caught a live her Namaste life. Welcome. Go to ValerieLove.com. Click on Join Val. Ah! Look at all our newbies. Ah! Pamela. Welcome, Pamela. Oh my God, you're so at home here. You're going to love the love tubers. Love tubers, everyone. Welcome all our new subscribers. We had 11,000 new subscribers join us in like seven, eight days. Ah, Mel is a newbie too. Ah, I need to know where you got that hat. That, oh, that shirt from. Ah, I think I got this from Ross. I love Ross and I'll give you a peek at it. Yeah. There we go. I love Ross and Marshalls and TJ Maxx and Burlington. I'm one of them kind of gals. I actually do love uh, thrift shops too. <laughs> I love good value for my money. You go in there? Yeah, Amber. I love good value for my money. So go to ValerieLove.com. I'm at, ooh, England. Love it, love it, love it, love it. So family. I have a subconscious hack for you today. How to hack into your subconscious mind. If that is of interest to you, listen up. Now, hey family, hey, 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 how you loving, how you loving, how you loving? This is the deal. I want to first establish why I am giving you this message. And of course I'm sent as a messenger for God. I am Reverend Valerie Love. Divine Midwife of Soul Destiny, Christian Witch. Listen to with my journal. Now that's what we love on this channel. Oh my God, she got her journal. You gonna make me get excited now. She has her journal. Yes, everything's about to change. That's what we do around here. So Solomon is an uh, author of now 16 books on practical spirituality, inspirational speaker, and really my soul volunteer to uh, remind us that you're God, ye are gods. That's it, that's all, that's all you need to remember about yourself. You don't need to know anything else. You don't even need to know your name. Ujo Wajet. I'm so proud of myself. <laughs> remember it, Ujo, I remember it, Ujo. 
All you need to know is your God. That's all you need to know. Everything else, hey, you don't need to know it. Now, why am I bringing you this message? Number one, because I am ordained by God. I'm a minister. I'm anointed by God. That's why I'm bringing you this message, number one. Number two, I'm bringing you this message not because of what I read in books. Blessings. Thank you, Ellie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm not bringing this message to you from what I read in books. I'm bringing this message to you from our brand new, new to us. It's not brand new house. It's new to us. It's a fairly new house. It's new to us. From our brand new five bedroom, four bath, beautiful estate, beautiful estate given to me by God. Yes, it came from God. Where did it come from? It came from God because this is what I learned. I learned that in my father's house, there are many mansions. Isn't that what they told us? And I said, wait a minute, if in my father's house there are many mansions, why am I living in an apartment? Why am I living in a small place? Why am I living wherever you're living? Let you, let wherever you live be your mansion to you. Now, everyone, a mansion is different. For some people, a mansion is a yacht. For some people, a mansion is a yurt on the top of a mountain. For some people, a mansion could be glamping. For some people, a mansion could be a hut in the woods. Whatever it is for you, your desired outcome, whatever that is for you, okay? Your mansion doesn't have to look like my mansion. It's not going to, all right? Oh, come on, Jennifer. We can't be doing it. <laughs> membership. I know that's right. Cause we got lovely things coming up for our members. And if you want to become a member of the channel, by all means click the join button. And if you click the join button, if you don't see it, if you're on iOS, that just means that Google and iOS hasn't bought all everything together yet. So if you're on an iOS device and you don't see the join button, then you'll have to do it from a computer. Okay. Now I heard in my father's house, there are many mansions. So why don't I just put my name on one? or several, put your name on a few, have as many as you like, that's God. So here we are in this gorgeous home. I'll tell you the story of how we manifested this home, how I manifested this home. That's another video. This video is about a subconscious hack and why you wanna buy a throne, okay? So, and I'm sharing with you why I'm qualified to give you this message. I'm qualified to give you this message because I walk, eat, sleep, breathe what I'm talking to you right now. This is not a hobby for me. This is not something I read in books. This is not, and I, and this is not a regurgitation of something I heard on another channel and I'm regurgitating it to you. This is none of that. This is what I eat, sleep, live, breathe every single day of my dimension, fourth and fifth dimensional experience in a third dimensional world. I live it. So I'm telling you what I live, not what I read in books. Not what I think. Not what I heard. I'm only sharing with you what I experience, okay? I'm standing up. I know that's right. Come on. Get excited. Because it's about to go all the way up. Hello. Hey, Jason. Hey. How you loving, boo? Mwah. Love all our new family members here. Look at all our new family members. Family, the channel went ballistic. We got 11,000 new subscribers in seven days. I was stunned. I was like, <gasps> go God. Go God. Jennifer, come on. Jennifer got her membership together. Yay! Ma! Seven to 11,000. Did you see last month before I went to Peru for Mother Ayahuasca? Ooh, Lawazi, new member here. Yay! Did you see that before I went to Peru for Mother Ayahuasca, we were at 35,000, almost 36,000 subscribers. Do you see that we are 47,000 subscribers now? Don't play with God and don't sleep on God. Of my own accord, I can do no thing with God. Who all things are possible. Who all things are possible. You got the first line, Phoenix. Ah! Girl, Rainy Z Blues. Karima. You blew us out the water today with a 1919 super chat. <laughs> 
you know how we do around here? You love tubers. Money in the vortex. Money in the vortex. Money in the vortex. Ding, ding. Money in the vortex. Money in the vortex. Money in the vortex. Ding, ding. <laughs> Thank you, Karima. Karima, I saw that you requested information about our online wellness shopping club. So go to ValerieLove.com. And what I did, I switched it up a little bit so it'll be easier. So go to ValerieLove.com. Click on Join Val. You're going to see our drop down. <laughs> Jason, it's a blessing to have you here. You're going to see a drop down, Karima. And when you see the drop down, you can now watch the video right there. Okay? Everyone who wants to know about our online wellness shopping club, right there. They're about to send me another very nice check tomorrow. Or di direct deposit tomorrow? Day after tomorrow? Yeah, it's very good. It's very good. <laughs> Money in the vortex, money in the vortex, money in the vortex. <laughs> woo, woo, somebody's going to make that into a wrap, right? Also, please, family, please, please, please go register for the Christian Witches Convention. You can either come to the Mystery School the week before the convention, plus I'm doing a watch party in my suite of Game of Thrones. Oh, don't play. Oh, don't play. We about to watch Game of Thrones together with the Mystery School students. So on Sunday night, the 14th, the 15th to the 19th is the Mystery School. The 19th of April, this is next month, April 19 kicks off the weekend of the Christian Witches Convention. You got to come to Salem. <gasps> you got to come to Salem. The whole schedule of events is up at my website, ValerieLove.com. You got to come to Salem. You just have to. You just have to. You got your reservation set? Yes, Jennifer. Oh, my God. Peace and love to you. Thank you for all your educating videos. Oh, thank you so much, Almansol. Let me be sure I'm saying this correctly. I love our new members. Almansol, our new family members, our new love tubers, and members of the channel. Now, let's return to... So make sure you go, go watch the video for the online wellness shopping club at ValerieLove.com. Click on join Val. You'll see a drop down and there you will see Val's wellness club. And you can watch the video right there. So you know all about what we're doing. Next, to join, to come with us to the Christian Witches Convention, go to ValerieLove.com and click on retreats and events. Okay. Subconscious hack. Now, what we know about your subconscious mind is your subconscious mind is creating. You're going to see everyone at the convention. Oh, Jennifer, you're going to meet so many folks at the convention. Oh, my God. All the ones you've been seeing on the video. Ah, did you attack new member? Yay! Mwah! Welcome. And I got some members only stuff coming up for our members too. Yee. Actually, members, you all will be able to see the house first. We moved into our new home March 1st, our brand new home, new to us. It's not a brand new home, it's new to us. And the name of the house is Grace's Landing and we love it. It has a swimming pool, I don't even know how to swim. It has a three car garage, I don't even own a car. See, that's God, God always gives you more than you need or can even hope for or imagine subconscious hack why do we want a subconscious hack you want to hack into your subconscious mind because your subconscious oh my god come on Karima another member of the channel yay Ooh. oh y'all are blowing my mind today y'all are blowing my mind today and you know what I'm gonna make it very worth your while because I'm gonna give you something <laughs> TG on tap said, I love this woman. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm so honored and grateful. I'm so thankful. I'm going to make it your while because if you do what I'm going to tell you today, you are going to profit wildly. I don't just mean a couple of extra dollars because you can manifest a couple of extra dollars. Watch this video, Money by Friday. You can look at that. You'll get a couple of extra dollars. I'm talking about wealth. I'm talking about houses. I'm talking about instantaneous manifestation of anything you require. I'm talking about never running out of money. I'm talking about being like Christ, an instantaneous manifester of all things desired. That's what I'm talking about, okay? This is God consciousness. So, 
your subconscious mind is the great driver of your results. Your conscious mind is only responsible for 4% of your reality. Your subconscious mind is responsible for 96% of your reality. Woo! Priestess Rena. Yay! Welcome to the channel as a member. Look at all our channel members. Our channel members, they're going to see the house first. <laughs> Doing a special video for channel members. Ah! Come on, give me some love. Give me some love. Know how we roll around here. Smash that like button, baby. Smash that share button, baby. And remember to subscribe and ring the bell so you know when we go live, which we do almost every day. I'm getting back in my flow now that I'm in the house. So your subconscious mind is responsible for 96% of your results. If your subconscious mind houses fear, shame, guilt, not enough, unworthiness, not good enough, can't do it, don't know how, overwhelmed, littleness, all of shame, all of these energies festering below the surface in the subconscious mind. But your conscious mind keeps saying, I'm rich, I'm rich, I'm rich. I'm, I'm getting better. Yeah, there's my dream house. Yeah, there's my mansion. Here, there's my yacht. Yeah, there's my jet. That's what your conscious mind is saying. But you don't see the things manifest in your physical reality why? Because the subconscious mind is responsible for 96% of your results. Just breathe that in. 96% of my results come from the subconscious mind. So how am I supposed to repattern my subconscious mind? Three major ways to repattern your subconscious mind. Please write these out. Number one, your feelings. That's probably the number one way that you reconfigure your subconscious mind. Most people walk around with a sort of feeling, a persistent feeling of not good enough, a persistent feeling of guilt, persistent feelings of shame, persistent feelings of unworthiness. Why? From experiences we had when we grew up on planet Earth. This is a hard school. Your soul chose to come to this school. It's a very hard school. It's the hardest school in the whole cosmos. As a matter of fact, like I always say, when you're sitting around in heaven and you say to God, you were happy and you were joyful and you were in bliss. And you said to God, I'm going in and everyone in earth, you know, going where? To earth. And everyone in heaven and your soul groups turns around like, <gasps> yeah, I'm going in. That's what you said. I'm going in. I'm going, I'm going in. And they were like, you're going in to earth? Like to earth. The planet of war, sickness, starvation, killing each other. You're going there? Yeah, I'm going there. Why would you do that? Now they know why you're going to do that. <laughs> in heaven, they know why you're going to do that. Why? Because your soul is just going to grow so much. It's a school. See, your soul want once, wants one thing, and that's oneness with the creator. And you just feel, God, I'm going to be one with you. I'm going to be like Christ. I'm going to be like Buddha. And you were so excited. And then they said, okay. So God prepared you. And God said, well, now let's talk about this. And then you and God and your spirit team and your spirit guides put together this blueprint, right? This destiny blueprint for you, sort of a guide that you're going to fulfill once you get here. You already chose before, like the oracle says in the matrix, when Neo said, who is my choice? If you already know, I'm going to take the candy. She said, you come here to choose. You already chose. You came here to understand what you chose. There's a big difference. You didn't come here to choose. You already chose it. You already chose coming here. You already chose being the savior of the world. You already chose being great. You already chose that. Now you came here to walk it out and see why the hell did I choose this? <laughs> That's, the, That's the question at hand. Not, I didn't choose this. Yes, you did. You chose it. You chose it all. Now, so God sits there with you and, and you have this really aggressive plan and you're going to go in and you're going to uh, get an abusive father. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's going to that's gonna help me learn forgiveness. Let me get a real abusive father. Uh, and let me get, no, no, let me get a mother that leaves me. Yeah, nothing like mama drama to evolve your soul. <laughs> Anybody know about mama drama? Okay, yeah, let me get an abusive father. 
father. Now, I'm not making light of any of this because it's very painful when we're going through all of this because trust me, I went through a lot of this that I'm talking about. Uh, let me get somebody that will abandon me. Uh, oh, let me, let me get someone close to me who stabs me in the back and betrays me. And people that are sitting around in your soul group, the other souls, they say, oh, I'll be your abuser. Oh, thank you. You're going to be my abuser. Thank you. You know, and they're in your soul group. They agreed to all this. This is all so far beyond your human little conscious mind, the 4% conscious mind, way <laughs> grandma drama. <laughs> Come on. I know that's right. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Right. So here you are. And you, you're so, you're tooled. God is giving you the downloads of what's going to happen when you get here. You got your higher self with you ruling your head or your Arisha ruling your head. You have your ancestors. You have your spirit guides. You have the angels that are going to work with you. You have your soul group. One's going to come in as your mama. One's going to come in 20, 20, 20 years before you. Mine came in 19 years before me. 19 earth years, right? Before me was probably a, a second in heaven. Like she went down and then I went down, right? But in earth years, because earth moves said slow motion <laughs> right right so you can see the effects of your choices it's moving real slow but like where you came from like 19 years my mother came in and then I came in 19 years difference it was like one second right so here she's gonna be my mama and, and I'm gonna get the debt you're gonna abandon me yeah I'm gonna abandon you and I'm never gonna see you and never gonna talk to you great that's just what I need so that I can discover the true father, mother, God that lives within. See, no sky gods around here. The true mother, father, God, I am one with the one. I could never be abandoned. It's impossible. But I had to learn that, right? So you did all that when you got there in heaven, while you were in heaven. And then before you came here, it's like Kabbalah teaches. Kabbalah teaches that all these things are like on the assembly line. Okay, what race am I going to be? Hmm, what race of people are really really maligned <laughs> let me be a black woman in the 60s you made all this shit up <laughs> yeah let me be a black woman oh man black people are really having a problem on planet earth in the 60s well good thing i didn't come in the 1800s when i was in the 1800s i was in another situation but now ooh, black people let me let me let me be a god black woman can i be a black woman and god's like sounds good it'll work see everything's got to pass god's approval because god never lets you have more than you can handle and when you're in, in soul form you're very ambitious you think that hey you're gonna, you're gonna take on the world in one lifetime and god is like uh slow your roll because god's not gonna let you have anything that would destroy you as a human so and god knows what would destroy you as a human Plus, you know, you can pick the eject button and you could just take yourself out and go back. Many times I almost took myself out. One time I almost took myself out with a bottle of pills. I was like, I'm out of here. This art school is ridiculous. <laughs> I was like, where are the pills? Where's the eject button? I got to get out of here. Now, I don't mean to make light of suicide. It's not anything to make light of. It is a very serious situation. That's where I was. That's how deep in depression I was. I was about to take myself out. Kid you not. Okay? So... All that to say, you came through the sea of forgetfulness. <gasps> yes, Ellie, you did all this. It was amazing. Then you came through the sea of forgetfulness. You were born into a human body. <gasps> and now you're in density. Like, whew. And all you've got to do is remember. One of the magic books that I love reading says the most important thing in magic is to remember. You see, not just in magic, probably in all of life, is to remember. Remember your sovereign being. Remember, yes, that you are God. Remember ye are God. Remember, there's so much more than the physical. Remember, you came here for something great. Now what was it? <laughs> Came here for something big and really big and I'm like, what was it let me think now that's why you've got to go into meditation and prayer so that you can touch your consciousness to heaven in your consciousness oh, I remember why I'm here and then you begin to be led by the heart and the heart is beating and showing you your path oh yeah 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 and you're coming out of the head so I said all that background to say this that your subconscious mind once you get here gets full of crap unworthiness shame guilt uh i can't do it overwhelm all faces of fear right all faces of fear that's in the subconscious mind 
until we go into the depths, until we plumb the depths of our own consciousness and evict all of the energies that have taken up residence in here. Like they said, this witch said something on Facebook that was so funny. She said, you get this sage and you start talking to the spirits. Does this look like a damn hotel to you? <laughs> you say that to your own consciousness. Guilt, shame. Does this look like a hotel to you? Because y'all look like y'all. Does this look like an apartment complex to you? Because y'all have taken up residence and you got to go. Right? So we plumb the depths of our own consciousness to evict the energies that no longer belong there. How do we know how to do that? Only by the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit, also known as the Spirit of the Living God, Source, right? Does this as we are in concert with Source. Well, removing all that ish from your subconscious mind, you will find that under your subconscious mind is what is called the superconscious. The superconscious mind is God consciousness. The superconscious mind is love. The superconscious mind is freedom. The superconscious mind knows all its omnipresent, omniscient, omnipotent, omnipotent, right? The superconscious mind. Now, most people are not in touch with their superconscious mind. That's why you want to keep meditating, 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 being in bliss, being in nature, uh, dancing, yoga, whatever gets you really blissed out, that's going to take you into where you're touching the superconscious mind. Meanwhile, to go through to the superconscious mind, you have to pass through the subconscious mind. That's where the problems are because all this other ish that happened to you in your life and abuse and betrayal and the heartbreak and blah, 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 all the wounds, they all live in the subconscious mind. Now, if all that lives in your subconscious mind and your subconscious mind is is, is producing 96% of your results, wouldn't it behoove all of us to do the work to clear the subconscious mind of all blocks, all energies that are not resident to your subconscious mind. See, none of these belong to you. Shame doesn't belong to you. Guilt doesn't belong to you. It's not of you. And you picked it up like dirt when you go and wallow around and, and you go in the mud. It doesn't belong to you. You get up and you wash it off. Some of us have been carrying around this stuff for eons, decades I carried around shame and guilt and all these things, not knowing they weren't mine. They're not yours, you picked it up. And because you picked it up, you can wash it off now. Let's conclude with this. So why do you want to, that, that should answer, A, why I'm delivering this message to you, B, why I'm qualified to deliver this message to you, C, why you would want to hack into your subconscious mind, D, how to hack into your subconscious mind. So I told you that there were three ways to hack into your subconscious mind. The number one way to hack into your subconscious mind and to change it, reconstruct, reconfigure your subconscious mind is your feelings, bliss. Bliss, bliss, you see, gratitude, uh, uh, love, love, joy, joy. So you put yourself in places where you're going to feel all this and you, your subconscious mind starts saying, oh, I'm not depressed, I'm joyful. Oh, I'm not sad, I'm happy. Oh, I'm not alone, I'm with self. There's a big difference between being alone and being with self. Oh, I'm not cast off and abandoned. I am one with the whole universe. I could never be cast off or abandoned. You see, your subconscious mind starts repatterning itself according to your feelings. Number two, next way to repattern your subconscious mind, symbols. This is why sigils work. This is why logos work. Look at that video I did about logos, how the top corporations on the planet are whipping your attention by their logo. It's a sigil. It's going in where words do not go. Your subconscious mind doesn't speak words. It's not speaking English. It's not speaking Spanish. It's not speaking Russian. Your subconscious mind speaks a different language. Now, why do words work when you're speaking them? Because you're feeling it. And you're amplifying the energy by sound. Sound is vibration. And the whole universe goes by vibration. Everything is in vibration. Hermetic laws, you'll learn about that when you come to the mystery school in April, when you come to the Christian Witches Convention. Next. So number one, yeah, dream. So number one, we're going to get into the third one right now. That's a good one that you said dream analysis. Excellent. So number one, 
We understand the subconscious mind works by your feelings. How you feeling? You walk around like this, that's what you're going to get. You walk around like this, that's what you're going to get. Number two, your subconscious mind works by symbols. You know why I'm covered with sacred symbols? The ankh, the heart, the butterfly, the Aztec, map of the cosmos, the underworld, Pachamama, the Apus. On my feet, on my ankle, symbols. About to get another symbol right here, no. Why am I covered with symbols? And why am I covering myself with symbols? I got about seven tattoos. How many tattoos do I have? I think about seven right now. Why? Symbols repattern your subconscious mind. Symbols. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I love the tats. I love my tribal butterfly. This is my animal totem, the butterfly and the elephant. So symbols. It's why we can show you a cross. You're going to immediately have a reaction. We're going to show you a star of David. You're going to immediately have a reaction. We're going to show you a sun and moon from the Islamic brothers and sisters, the moon and the star, not sun and moon, the moon and the star. You're going to immediately have a reaction. We're going to show you an ankh. You're going to immediately have a reaction. What the reaction is, we don't know, is based on what's in your own library. Now, when you're doing magic, you want to build your library of symbology because this is how Upper Realms communicates with us, right? It's not speaking English. I, I never met an angel that's speaking English. They're transmitting information to your consciousness. And it's, when you get it, you're going to encode it into words so that it can make some sense to your conscious mind. They're not talking English to you, right? It's symbols. It's symbology. It's signs. So that's the second way to reprogram your subconscious mind. That's why sigils work beautifully. Number three, and here's the big one. Images, especially moving images. Images, images especially moving images are the most powerful. So images. Pictures, pictures, pictures. Make your Instagram into what you want your life to be because you're always scrolling Instagram. I made my Instagram into what I want my life to look like. Bali, oh, thank you, the butterfly. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bali, mansions, luxury, gorgeous makeup. That's what I made my beautiful bodies. Yachts. That's what I made my Instagram to look like. I made my Instagram look like <laughs> food that I love, right? Give me some love. She was like, weren't you the one that said to me the other day on Instagram, girl, you always finding some good food. <laughs> I made my Instagram and I'm talking about my Instagram followers who I follow on Instagram what I want my life to look like. Why? Because it's images. You just keep feeding images into your subconscious mind. Not saying to your subconscious mind, I will manifest that. That's putting a little too much strain into it. That's introducing a resistance into it. None of that. That's why vision boards don't work. Forget about the vision board. Burn it. I haven't had a vision board in years. Manifested more stuff without a vision board than ever in my life. Manifested this whole dream house with no vision board. None. None, none, none. Stop it. A vision board means you don't have it. Now, because no rich person I know puts stuff on a vision board. No, none of the sharks right now on Shark Tank have a vision board that says, ooh, I want to be rich. They're already rich. None of them are saying, I am rich, I am rich, I am rich, doing affirmations. They're already rich. Do what already rich people do, and you'll have the same result. Okay? <laughs> good, good. You missed the whole vision board train. Good. Now, moving pictures why is moving pictures so critical? Videos. So if you can create those videos where it's your dream video and it's moving, because once again, it's eliciting feelings, right? And your brain, your mind, multiple levels of your mind are tapping into the image, the images, right? That's why they say a picture is worth a thousand words. You can't communicate how many words one picture can convey to your subconscious mind. So now that we understand that, how you repattern your subconscious mind, yay, I'm so happy you're enjoying this, Ashima. Yes. Oh, an ASMR channel? I thank you for your ASMR. <laughs> I love that 
ASMR channels. Oh my God, they're amazing. Like, I'm like, oh, that feels so good. <laughs> I love ASMR. Now, let's conclude with this. Why buy a throne? Ooh, you got the tingles, didn't you? Oh my God, they're always doing like this little scratchy stuff. Like, you know, look. Can you feel that? <laughs> I love the ASMR videos. Oh my God, I'm like, I don't know why this works, but it's so freaking fantastic. <laughs> wow, he was about to, oh look, I saved you some time and energy to make a whole vision board. I have 30,000 now, I want to invest well about five to 10K. Excellent, I'm gonna do a video, love, I am going to do a video on exactly what to invest in now in the cryptocurrency markets. You will be astounded. I have been researching something. You know, I'm not going to talk about it until I know what the hell I'm talking about. I'm about to do that video within a week. That is going to tell you probably by next Monday, Monday, Money Monday. That video is going to drop. It's going to be a bombshell. It's going to be a bombshell. My God. <laughs> artists musicians oh ellie my son is an artist and he is an incredible artist in miami here in miami and i love art and i'm always given to the arts i love the arts matter of fact there's some artists that i support also on patreon hey daniel daniel's back so let's conclude with this love i'm gonna do that video for you you are going to love this money video you're gonna love this money bit. Oh my God. I've been so deep into crypto. Give me some love. Deep, deep into crypto. Waiting, waist deep into crypto. And I have got something for you that's gonna knock your socks off. You're gonna love it. But you know, I have to be the guinea pig of it myself. I have to use it myself, so I'm using it myself because I don't talk about anything that I don't experience. And I'm not gonna tell you, put your money somewhere that I don't. I don't do that. So coming up coming up what's my ig at thou love inspires i gotta put it on here oh yeah baby all crypto ha, ha, ha. and the cryptos that i have uh, been looking at oh, ha, ha, ha. and the timing for the crypto see i never left crypto as a matter of fact i was just sitting in bank 30k okay love more we're gonna we're gonna work on that what to do uh, as a matter of fact, I never left crypto. As a matter of fact, I've been buying crypto all along. As a matter of fact, just now when I went to Peru, I actually pulled out my Trezor and was buying some things with crypto. I never stopped using crypto. Yeah. <laughs> you you double my money on Bitcoin. Ah, come on. Come on. Come on. And guess what? In 2019, Bitcoin. In 2019 and 2020, oh, it's about to be on. Oh, it's about to be on. Ooh. Okay, so let's bring this to a conclusion with your throne, kings, queens, or for those who are asexual, who don't identify with either king or queen, an asexual sovereign being, okay? Because here we welcome all people, all faith walks, all colors, all creeds, all nationalities, all sexual persuasions, everybody, come on, come on, mama, daddy, come on, everybody. All right, now, you just followed your advice and there's 30 and pulled it out when I need is 60. <laughs> Doubled it, just like that. Doubled it. I know what I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about. Um, in what I'm talking about. I don't know what I'm talking about in everything. I don't know everything. I'm learning a lot. The things that I teach, I know what I'm talking about because I live them. Okay? I live them. Now, your throne. Sovereign beings. We won't say king, queen. It doesn't have to be male, female. Sovereign being. We're going to call you a sovereign being. Why get a throne? Based on everything I just shared, if you get a throne, just like the thrones that I put on this thumbnail, what is your subconscious mind going to think? And I'm also going to put a link to where I'm buying my thrones in the chat below, uh, in the description below. I'm going to give you a link. It's called chiseledperfections.com. Chiseled perfections get yourself a nice throne now if you invest it's going to be an investment somewhere between 700 and 1100 dollars now but let me wait wait a minute wait a minute because i heard you saying 1100 dollars for a child girl is you crazy wait a minute give me a minute 
Don't get your panties in a bunch. Some of you are like, that, where is it? I'm buying it right now. Here's the deal. If you invest, let's round it off to $1,000. If you invest 1,000 US in a throne, what is going to happen to your subconscious mind every time you sit in the throne, on the throne? How will you feel? What is going to happen when you work from the throne? making your phone calls in your business, handling your business like a boss. What is going to happen? What is going to happen to your subconscious mind every time you walk by your chair and you look at that throne and you know that's your throne? What is your subconscious mind gonna start doing? It's gonna start saying, throne, a throne is for a king or a queen. It's already in there, why? Because it's an archetype. You are tapping into archetypal power. What is an archetype? An archetype is a mold that is already in every person's unconscious. King, queen, a magic man, holy man, holy woman, mother, father, child, warrior, conqueror. This is already in your consciousness. You're tapping into somebody. I hope y'all get what I'm saying. I hope somebody is going to get what I am saying. And somebody is like, wait a minute. This is already in my unconscious as an archetype. And I'm going to tap into it. It's not something you have to convince yourself of. You already have it in your unconscious. It's not something you have to make up. You already have it. It's not something that you have to try to go and acquire. It's already there. You're tapping into what is an archetype. An archetype is extreme power. Extreme power. Extreme power. That's why all our magical accoutrement are so important. Wands. Chalice, sword, at the may, crystals, the words, the robes. Why do we have all that? Not because that's doing it. It's not doing it. You're doing it. We're doing that because your subconscious mind is saying, oh, damn, I'm a freaking magician. And when you sit on a throne, your subconscious mind is going to say, oh, damn, I'm a king or a queen. I'm a sovereign being. I am a ruler. And yes, that's right. And you won't be ratchet sitting on a throne. Yeah, you can tweet that. That's tweetable. I can't be ratchet sitting on a throne unless you're just a despot, but nobody here is a despot. You're going to sit on your throne. You're going to rule. You're going to sit on your throne. You're going to rule your home, your life, your finances. See, you're in charge. You are reminding yourself you're a sovereign being. That's all I have to say about that. I pray this wakes up your life. Remember, I'm here for your freedom. Thank you, Her Namaste Life, for putting it in the chat. That is the website, chiseledperfections.com, and I will put it below here. Get your throne. Look, someone is already... I tried this out on several of my people in my circle, and they're all looking for thrones now. Like, I think I started a movement. <laughs> Everybody in my world is ordering thrones now over the last few days. Since I moved into this new house, I've been looking at what furniture I'm bringing in here. Every piece of furniture I bring in here is going to be something I love, something that is majestic, something that is magnificent, something that is befitting heaven. And I tell you one thing. I started telling Wiz, Wiz, you got to see these thrones, man. Look at these thrones because I like to run th things past him because he's one of, as we say in the Course of Miracles, our mighty companions, right? We have many mighty companions on the way. So I ran it past him. Man, I'm about to get this throne. He was like, what? He went, looked up thrones. He was like, this is the one I'm getting. I was like, yes, we get thrones. Then in his house and in my house, we have different houses, right? Then I started talking to my clients in the Enlightenment Circle. Got to get some thrones. Then I told the Abundance Circle. Actually, I told the Abundance Circle before I told the Enlightenment Circle. I told the Abundance Circle, they have little girls. Did you see the little girls' thrones? If you need to start with a little girl throne, start there. Work your way up, right? These thrones are ginormous. I mean, you can sit in there and curl up. Then I went and told the Abundance Circle. The Abundance Circle, pink and gold, they got blue. They got royal blue. They have red. They have every, You go to chiseledperfections.com. You're going to see every color. Purple, velvet, diamond studs. <laughs> now, don't get me started, but I'm going to conclude with this. I keep saying I'm going to conclude. Here's one last piece I'm going to put on there for you. Can I put a cherry on top? Family. It's family. I love to over deliver. Can I put a cherry on top? Family. Family, next thing, you're going to get some crowns. Now, I have not researched crowns yet. Right now, we're on thrones. 
after we get the thrones, we're going to get the crowns. So that when you go and you sit there <laughs> and you start making your phone calls and you start doing your social media and you start growing your business. And what if you came in, what if somebody came into your healing practice, your coaching practice, your leading retreat, you're, you're uh, a massage therapist, you're doing all this, you're a light worker, you're a mag magical practitioner, all of the beautiful people in our communities and the spiritual beings. And you're sitting there with a crown, not in pride, not in arrogance and simple knowing. And you're sitting there with your crown. Tell me what happens. Come back, comment on this video, and let me know what happens in your life. I am Reverend Valerie Love. I'm here for your freedom, spiritually, mentally, emotionally, physically, and financially. Yes, baby. Woo! I love you. God bless you. Kaisi out. Mwah! ValerieLove.com. Peace.